Welcome to Dominica. The old stronghold of the Carib people from South America and last to be conquered by the Europeans, consequently ruled over by the French and the British. Named by Christopher Columbus after the Lord's Day, let us take a deep dive into the interesting history, geography, and culture of this small island in the Caribbean. Before the arrival of the Europeans, Dominica was home to the Arawak people, who were descendants of the local Taino population. They were eventually overthrown and displaced by the Kalinago tribe of the Caribs, who settled there in the 14th century. They called the island Waitu Kubuli, tall is her body. One of the last islands to be conquered and settled by the European powers, Dominica was first colonized by the French in 1632. With the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle, the French and British treated the island as neutral grounds in 1748. The island changed hands between the two empires until 1805. The French were forced to withdraw from the island in 1805 after a failed attack on the capital of Roseau. The British administered the island as part of the Leeward Islands until 1771, when it was made a separate colony. But it was then returned to the Leeward Islands in 1883 until 1940, where it became part of the Windward Islands as, yet again, a separate colony. Dominica was a French colony from 1715 to 1763. Spain had little success in colonizing the area for the most part. However, the French were able to establish a permanent presence on the islands by 1690. French woodcutters from Martinique and Guadeloupe begin to set up timber camps to supply the French islands with wood and gradually become permanent settlers. They brought with them slaves from West Africa to Dominica to help with labors. By 1727, a French commander named Monsieur Legrand took control of the island and it became a formal colony of France, divided into quarters. They redeveloped the island to develop coffee plantations. During the Seven Year War of 1761, the British led an expedition to Dominica led by Lord Rollo. They were successful in conquering the island and some other Caribbean islands. France ceded the territory to the British after their defeat under the 1763 Treaty of Paris, which also ended the war. For a time, Dominica was British territory until the American Revolutionary War, wherein France was able to mount its own successful invasion of Dominica in 1778 with the help of the local population. The island was then returned to British control under the 1783 Treaty of Paris. The British Empire ruled over Dominica from 1763 to 1978. It established a legislative assembly that only represented the white population in 1763. Due to liberalization during the 1800s, the Brown Privilege Bill was passed giving political and social rights to free non-whites. Slavery was ultimately abolished in the island in 1834. It became the only British Caribbean colony to have a black-controlled legislature in the 19th century. Most black legislators were small holders or merchants who held economic and social views diametrically opposed to the interests of the small, wealthy English planter class. Reacting to a perceived threat, the planters lobbied for more direct British rule. Immediately after the First World War, political consciousness was at an upsurge in the Caribbean islands. This led to the formation of the Representative Government Association. In 1961, a Dominica Labour Party government led by Edward Oliver LeBlanc was elected. After the Federation dissolved, Dominica became an associated state of the United Kingdom on February 27, 1967. In 1967, the West Indies Act was passed by the British government, allowing Dominica a status of association with the United Kingdom, giving it larger autonomy over internal matters. On November 3, 
1978. Dominica achieved full independence from the United Kingdom with Patrick Roland John as first prime minister. However, his rule was marred by corruption and illegal dealings. Today, Dominica is one of the poorest countries in the Caribbean islands. Being one of the poorest countries in the Caribbean islands, Dominica has a GDP of $607 million. It is mainly an agricultural country. Owing to its size, its industry is at a minimal. Services make up the majority of the GDP, with it constituting 65% of the total GDP of the country. Agriculture comes at a close second with 22%. Industry is at dead last with only 13%. Agricultural products include bananas, yams, grapefruit, taro, milk, coconuts, oranges, yautia, plantains, and sugarcane. Whatever industry is present is limited only to soap, coconut oil, tourism, copra, furniture, cement blocks, and shoes. Dominica's flag is made up of yellow, black, and white stripes in the shape of a cross on a green background. In the center of the flag is an imperial parrot on a red circular disc encircled by ten green stars. The red disc symbolizes socialism, the ten stars being the ten parishes in the island. The different colored stripes represented the Carib, Caucasian, and African people and the green represents the jungles and forests of the island. One of the smallest island nations in the Caribbean, Dominica only has a land mass equaling 751 square kilometers. The highest peak in the island is Morna Diablotins, which stands at 1,400 meters or 4,700 feet. The island is filled with forests that are filled with differing flora and fauna. This includes the Imperial Amazon, Giant Ditch Frog, and Mabuya Dominica. The climate in Dominica is generally the same with other Caribbean countries, tropical all throughout the year. The average maximum temperature of Dominica is at 29 degrees Celsius, or 85 degrees Fahrenheit, while the average minimum temperature is at 23 degrees Celsius, or 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Being such a small country, Dominica is only home to 75,000 people, 85% of whom are of African descent. 9% are mixed, 4% are indigenous, and others are at 2%. 50% of the population are Roman Catholics, while the rest are of differing Christian denominations. In addition to that, 1% of the population consider themselves as Rastafarian. The mean age in Dominica is 37 years old. 72% of the population is urbanized. Despite being one of the poorest countries in the Caribbean, the life expectancy for Dominicans is at a whopping 79 years old. Let's talk about food. Here are a few dishes from Dominica that will surely make your mouth water. First, we have mountain chicken, which is a unique dish not made from chicken, but rather from giant frogs native to the island. This delicacy, often enjoyed in rural areas, is typically fried or stewed and is particularly popular during the hunting season when these frogs are most abundant. Next is chatu water a flavorful octopus soup. This dish has its roots in the island's rich fishing culture and is often enjoyed as a hearty meal, especially in coastal communities where fresh seafood is a staple of the diet. Another popular dish is the codfish sandwich, made from fresh cod that is sautéed and then packed between slices of bread. This savory treat is frequently eaten for lunch or as a quick meal showcasing the island's access to abundant and fresh seafood. Agouti is a dish prepared from an animal similar to a squirrel, served in a stew with a spicy curry sauce. This dish is a highlight of festive occasions and community gatherings, reflecting the island's diverse wildlife and culinary traditions. 
Callaloo soup is a Creole specialty made from local fresh vegetables, particularly the leaves of the Callaloo plant. This nutritious soup is a common dish in Dominican households and is often enjoyed as a starter or a light meal, highlighting the island's rich agricultural heritage. Then there's Sancocho, a hearty stew made with a variety of meats, root vegetables, and plantains. Originating from a blend of African, Spanish, and indigenous culinary traditions, Sancocho is traditionally prepared for special occasions and family gatherings, symbolizing unity and celebration among the people of Dominica. Of course, let's not forget the influential people from Dominica. Despite having such a small population, here are some of them. Nicholas Liverpool, who became the sixth president of the country from 2003 to 2012. Alwyn Bully, who designed the national flag of Dominica. Phyllis Shand Alfre, writer and socialist activist from Dominica. Eugenia Charles, the first Dominican female lawyer. If you enjoyed this video on Dominica, you'll love this next one.